Proton therapy's greatest advantage over conventional radiation therapy is its accuracy. Conventional radiation therapy requires the delivery of many x-rays to destroy the cancerous cells. In addition to depositing energy in the normal tissues between the skin and the tumor, x-rays deposit considerable energy in the tissues beyond the tumor, often limiting the dose physicians can prescribe to treat the tumor. As well as depositing less energy in normal tissues on the way to the tumor, protons do not affect tissues beyond it and thus have the potential to greatly decrease the risk of injury to normal healthy tissues around the tumor. Thus, with protons, the radiation dose can be more tightly confined to the tumor, in part due to a characteristic of proton beams called the Bragg peak. The proton begins its incredible journey at the ion source. Within fractions of a second, hydrogen atoms are separated into negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons. The protons are injected into the cyclotron, and in only a few microseconds, the proton's energy reaches 235 million electron volts. These high-powered protons are extracted from the cyclotron and sent through a beam transport system and guided into vacuum tubes by a series of steering and focusing magnets. The protons then pass through a specially designed wedge in the beam transport system that adjusts the proton speed. The proton beam arrives in three of the treatment rooms via gantries and through a fixed beam in the fourth treatment room. An energy selection system allows the treatment team to vary the depth of penetration of the proton beam into the patient from a few centimeters up to a maximum depth of 32 centimeters. The gantry revolves 360 degrees around the patient so that the beam can be delivered at any angle. Each treatment room also houses a guidance system that monitors the beam delivery system as it delivers the prescribed dose. The beam delivery system nozzle is the last device the proton passes through before entering the patient's body. The nozzle shapes and spreads out the proton beam into three dimensions, conforming it to the target tumor. 